Welcome to the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry channel. I'm Maynard Edwards, 33rd degree. We hear in our lodges and in our Scottish Rite valleys that no man or body of men can make innovations in Freemasonry, but that's just not true. Masons have been making innovations virtually since the dawn of time. I mean, if you look at our operative Mason brothers, they started making simple stone structures, they graduated to making the massive cathedrals that we saw in Europe, and now they make skyscrapers. So masonry and innovation are practically synonyms, and they have been for a very long time. During the COVID-19 pandemic, creativity and innovation became very important to our fraternity. Obviously, we couldn't get together in our lodges to make new masons, and we couldn't get together in our Scottish Rite Valleys, that's a Scottish Rite local chapter, to make new Scottish Rite masons. So we had to get a little bit creative. And lodges and Scottish Rite Valleys and York Rite chapters all over the world got pretty creative in terms of bringing in new members. One of the most innovative ways of bringing in new Scottish Rite Masons came from our Orient of Missouri. Now, an Orient is basically a state jurisdiction for those of you that are unfamiliar with the term. So the Orient of Missouri produced something they call the Cinematic Reunion. This was a beautifully shot and scripted version of the fourth through the 32nd degrees of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, the Southern Jurisdiction for the United States of America, the Mother Supreme Council of the World, as we say. Now, it's not an entire rendering of each of the 29 degrees, but rather it's a very shortened version that gives you the most basic principles and lessons of each of the degrees. It's filmed beautifully, it looks amazing, and what it allowed was it allowed us to bring in new Scottish Rite Masons at a time when we couldn't really get together, welcome them into the fraternity to make them Scottish Rite Brothers, and then as we are able and as they are able, they can now go and see each of the degrees performed in full form in their Orient and Valley. It was a really exciting thing, and a lot of Scottish Rite Masons have seen it and just think it's amazing. So I asked the Orient of Missouri if they would allow us to share sort of a trailer video, if you will, here on our channel, and they have graciously agreed. So here's a sneak peek and a little trailer of the Orient of Missouri Scottish Rite Cinematic Reunion. Don't you know that you are the temple of God and that God's spirit resides in you? The purpose of Freemasonry is to improve the individual and to make him a better member of society at large. Everything that appears in these degrees is a symbol of something else. You are called upon to reach beyond the surface of appearances and seek deeper meaning. My brother, the degrees of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite contain life lessons and eternal truths. The human soul ever travels toward the light of God. Embrace the knowledge that you are children of the Most High. We now advance from the realm of morality to that of true philosophy. The lessons of the Scottish Rite are taught by symbols because it is the most obvious mode of instruction. By this route, and there is no other, we may become teachers and examples for our brothers. Self-discovery was the purpose of all true ancient initiations. You will here discover that you may not ascend any higher in your knowledge of the mysteries until you have overcome the dread of death. Death is inevitable, and in the grand scheme of the great architect, it is the entrance to another existence. The true light will dispel the darkness, and the new law of love will rule upon the earth. Brethren, soon to be masters of the royal secret, you are at the point where the roads of life diverge. Make now your decision and mark well your actions. Masonry will be what it has the right to be and what we do believe God means it to be. 
a mighty yet beneficent power in every civilized land. The Holy Empire will be everywhere. So mote it be. As we learned in the Symbolic Lodge, the Masonic Temple we are to erect is our own spiritual growth. Even in the ancient mysteries, as now in Masonry, it was not enough simply to be initiated. One had to accept the duties that came with such initiation. Great truths must be approached with reverence and piety. Ancient symbols have taken on new meaning, and we have risen from base idolatry to philosophical meditation. Initiation brings us to knowledge of the deity, chiefly that God is one, eternal, and unchanging. When cultivated properly, the voice of God may be heard in the human mind and heart. In every place and time, men have gazed at the wonders of the natural world with reverence and awe. In the eyes of the ancients, man was considered a microcosm or reflection of the universe. Hence the hermetic dictum, as above, so below. Man is called to enjoy a real, but still restricted, communion with God. The mystery religions of the past transmitted their teachings by symbol so that they could remain hidden to the uninitiated. You are to be consecrated to the service of the children of light and shown the tabernacle in the wilderness. Blind faith has been alloyed with reason and the result has been the equilibrium of wisdom. One lesson there points to the truth that from death and darkness does the light eventually rise, reborn as the phoenix from its ashes. We are also taught the importance of brotherly love. In these degrees you become pledged to the cause of true freedom of the people and devote yourselves to the honor and interest of your country. In our Masonic careers, we have assumed obligations to the performance of many duties. My brothers, to oppose ignorance demands action. Ignorance impedes, ambition denies, and fanaticism imposes. Fanaticism imposes, by force or otherwise, beliefs upon those who do not wish to share them, and is therefore the mother of intolerance. Without a commitment to education, no society can endure. Seize the opportunity to become a better man and leave to those who follow you a noble heritage. Knowledge teaches us to seek the regard of our brothers, and the love of our family, and the gratitude of our nation. These qualities are reflections of that harmony and perfection of the divine nature and are a part of the divine in each one of us. The path toward wisdom requires constant adjustment. Knowledge teaches us to seek the regard of our brothers. The accumulation of knowledge is gradual. It builds upon itself with unceasing labor. It requires great patience and determination. Truth is the most divine object of all human progress. Masonry strives to develop truth as a living virtue and to induce men to accept it as their God. Man's mortality makes the practice of virtue a demand. The Masonic temple we are to erect is our own spiritual growth. Temptation is everywhere. And the ability to resist, control, and to redirect the will to Almighty God and to His glory is what distinguishes a night mason from the common man. Be true and faithful to God, to duty, and to yourself. The virtues of faith, hope, and charity will ultimately give man victory over evil. It is time 
for you to set in order your own temple, or else you wear in vain the name and insignia of a mason. Now, if you're a Master Mason interested in joining the Scottish Rite through the Cinematic Reunion, you can find out more information about the Cinematic Reunion by clicking the link above, and I've also placed it in the description below. If you're not a Mason and you're interested in joining our fraternity, well, the Cinematic Reunion is down the road a little ways for you, but we can connect you with a lodge in your area. Again, there's a link below in the description, and I'll place the link above as well. Special thanks to SGIG of Missouri, Robert Cockerham, 33rd degree, for allowing us to share the Cinematic Reunion trailer with you, and also special thanks to Ryan Cockerham, 32nd degree KCCH, one of the producers of not only the Cinematic Reunion, but of the trailer you just saw, for getting that to us to share it with you as well. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video. If you're a brother Master Mason or a Scottish Rite Mason, drop a comment below and say hi. And if you're a Scottish Rite Mason already and you just really want to see the cinematic reunion, make sure you click the link and you can check it out as well. And they'll give you all the instructions on how to do so at that link. I'm Maynard Edwards, 33rd degree. Thanks for watching.